Yo guys, welcome to a brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Dragalgy deck once again, and this time Dragalgy has Garboder as its best partner, now that Garboder can auto-poison the opponent's active if there's a stadium in play. So of course, this combos really well with Dragalgy with the attack, Poison, Cultivation, where if your opponent's active is Poison, you put 10 damage counters instead of 1 on that Pokemon in between turns. That's a lot of Poison damage you can do. And of course, Dragalgy does have quite a few new things you can use, like Whorehouse Energy. Uh, it also has Spell Tag, so you can actually put a lot of damage on a single Pokemon or on the board through Dragalgy here. Um, and of course, now with Garboder, you don't have to play anything like Koga's Trap or any other uh, weird tools in your Dragalgy deck, because now you have Garboder's Poisonous Puddle ability. Now, of course, it is a multiple stage one deck. But it's not too hard to get going, so yeah. Before we end the video, guys, of course, you have to our sponsor, Card Game and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCO pack codes, guys, of course, guys, if you have any codes or any cards laying around that you don't want to use, uh, you can give them to Card Game and TCG. They will give you some cash and orange in store credit for your bulk cards. And if you have any codes you don't want to redeem, you can give them to Card Game. And also, of course, and if you're still looking for PCO codes, guys, head over to Card Game and TCG, pick up your PCO codes there. Of course, guys, if you're still looking for anything Rebel Clash related, I'm talking the packs, I'm talking theme decks. I'm talking the pre-release kits for all the Rebel Clash stuff. You can get them at Car Cavern, of course. They have all the other sets stuff also, like Sword and Shield stuff, Team Up stuff, Rebel Car uh, Broken Bond stuff, all that stuff all over at Car Cavern TCG. And if you get anything from there, guys, you can use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order, guys. It will greatly support the channel. And help yourself out. It'll support Car Cavern TCG, too. So shout out Car Cavern, guys. Check them out and, yeah, use code LDF. So let's take a look at the Dragalgy Guard Voter deck I've got here. This is the list I'm working with. Um... And it's not bad. I will say uh, this deck definitely might want to play uh, more ball searching cards, possibly because my main issue is losing a lot of Pokemon because uh, Ornay Rocket only gets two things back. But other than that, the deck played fine. Um, it worked pretty well. 10 damage with poison isn't bad. Obviously, in this day and age, Pokemon have over like 300 HP. But of course, we do have the Whorehouse Energy, the Spell Tags to kind of get us over the top a little bit. I'm also playing Absol in here to, if, you know, obviously they're basic, they want to, you know, just simply retreat if they're poisoned, but Absol in play, they can't do that. I got Marnie in here too. We can spam Marnie every turn to try to put their hand size down to four, which hopefully prevents them from finding a switch or something. So that's kind of why we do have the heavy Marnie engine. And of course, we do have stuff like Dust Island. Uh, I'm actually opting for Shrine over Dust Island though. I know switch is very popular. Um, but I'm actually opting for the Shrine damage because the 10 extra damage does go a long way. Just, again, this deck's numbers aren't insanely high. We do have stuff, of course, like Dragalgy, uh, you know, the 10 poison damage, the spell tags, we have the Whorehouse energies. Uh, but I just like having the Shrine just for the extra tick damage. Uh, and kind of we follow up in the late game with Nyla Ego here with uh, Nightcap, of course. We can use Nightcap in the late game, copy a big attack, take a knockout. And we can even use Void Tentacles as a poison attack and a confusion attack so now he goes kind of gonna be our backup our main attacker is just going to straight be this trick algae we just have a 4-4 line with the two ornate rods uh, i am playing only a 3-2 garboder line alongside one ditto um to go with it of course i would maybe go up to three garboders but you really just, you just need one in play and of course if they target garboder you can get the other one in play or you can just ornate rod the garboder back in the deck uh, this is why I maybe want to play more Pokemon Recovery also, like maybe, I hate playing Brock's Grid in this day and age, it kind of feels a little dated, but I do maybe feel like this deck might need a better Pokemon Recovery engine, but we got Vornay Rod, which works fine for us, and I am playing 3 Jirachi for the setup. There's no Wild Goss, no Dedenne in here, it's a pretty fairly budget-friendly deck, I would say, of course, Jirachi is not insanely expensive anymore, its price has dropped quite a bit with the news of it being in those Pika deck boxes that are coming out very soon, or the Pika Battle Arena decks, so this deck is sort of budget-friendly, you can definitely make it even more budget by just cutting the Jirachi out altogether if you want, I can definitely see that happening. Uh, going to the items now, we got Evo Incense to search for a Pokemon, I also have 4 Quick Ball and 3 Treasure, though I will say, after testing this deck for this video, I might want to maybe play 4 Great Balls. A great ball engine might be a little good in here too um and playing reset stamp again just stamp your opponent to a low hand size in the late game and then poison them and maybe they can't switch or retreat that's kind of the whole idea behind the reset stamp uh, it is a cuttable card though for sure i can see it i got two switch uh one dust island two shrine of punishment one boss's order one cynthia four marnie four research um, I like having the Cynthia just sometimes drawing six cards because you do still need to set up pretty well. Most of the time in this deck, you want to get the Garboder in play. You want to have a Dragalgy in the active spot. And you also want to make sure you have a follow-up Skrelp slash Dragalgy on your bench. So having Cynthia as a better draw supporter because that one extra card does go a long way. I got two Escape Board for Jirachi. Three Spell Tag. I can't find room for a fourth. I got four Horror House Energy. 
uh, and just four psychic and i will say maybe going down to three psychic is better than just playing the four um but i just have the extra energy because i don't like missing energy attacks with this deck but i can definitely see you cutting down energy but yeah this is the dragalgy garboda list i'm rocking with here for today's video let's go try it out and see if we can win some games with it all right guys let's get into our first match here looks like we're playing against possibly a pika rom deck uh, which is fine. Um, there's been a, a big uptick in Pika Rom since Q3, and I'm fine with that. I'd rather play against Pika Rom more than ADP, because at least Pika Rom, like I'd rather be okay. I'd rather Pika Rom be the BDIF from the most dominated deck than ADP, because ADP, like at least with Pika, there's like a counter to it. Uh, you know, you can counter Pika Rom through just you know playing a Mew in your deck. It helps you out. There's, it's got a pretty good weakness. There's a lot of good fighting Pokemon to play with ADP. It's like uncounterable. But it looks like they're playing a more Peko deck. Yeah, with ADP though, they're just uncounterable. Like ADP does not have any good counters, which is what sucks. Uh, I don't know how to feel about more Peko though, to be honest with you. Wish our hand was a little better too. We can Marnie them at least, so that's good. The absolute start's not ideal though. All right, there's a quick ball. They give her their own Marnie. For a Jirachi. Well, good thing we have the Absol in play. I guess we can retreat the Absol here. I don't know. We we'll have, we'll have to get a Skrelp here, I think. Nope, they had a switch. At least they're burning their switch. I like to see that. Them burning the switch is good. And there's their own Marnie. That's fine. We are going to Marnie them right back. And hopefully we can get like a Drachi off that or something. Let's see what we draw here. Uh, another Marnie. Alright, well... We're gonna have to get rid of the Marnie then to get ourselves a Skrelp. We did prize a couple, unfortunately, looks like. I'm just gonna Marnie. We could play the Treasure. Maybe get rid of the Dragalgy. Probably should have done that, to be honest. Okay, we did not get a Jirachi. Uh, we did get a Trubbish, though, which is a good start. In fact, I'm just gonna pass. I don't really care if Absol goes down here. I'd rather lose Absol than lose a Skrelp, since we didn't really get much off that. But we do have to research. We can play a research here. We did Marnie their big hand away, which is good, too. The Jirachi might also be stuck here, which is pretty good too. Dealing with the Morpeko though might be a little hard because we don't actually have a way to like efficiently bring it in. Because if it's just constantly switching every turn, that actually makes it pretty hard to get rid of. So this matchup might not be too easy, unfortunately. Uh, there's the Thunder Mountain. Are they going to play that down now? That actually might mean they get the turn one Electro Wheel, possibly even the turn one Morpeko VMAX, which I'd rather that because then we don't have to worry about Electro Wheel. Look at they're committing to it. Okay, well, they can't do anything here other than their first attack. Unless they have an energy switch in their deck. If they play energy switch here, they can knock me out. I don't really care about losing Absol either. We can always get it back with Ornate Rod. So let's see if they get an energy switch. I'm assuming that's what they're getting here. No? Okay, they're getting their Marpeko, but they can't do Electro Wheel here. So that's good to see. They can get a more Peko though, and they can build it up with Dance of Ancients. And we should be able to get a Counter Stadium too, maybe off this research. I am going to Evo Incense for Garboder though. Yeah, they have Zero Aura. So they have for Retreat. Zero Aura is a pretty big counter to this deck too, unfortunately for us. But it looks like they have to go for a Spark. Unless they have some way to pull off a bunch of V Powers, we're probably not getting killed. They could have. Um, no, no to Dene. Alright, just a Spark. Really doesn't do too much. All right, they might not even have a supporter in their hand either. All right, spell tag top deck. Not kind of what I wanted to see though. I wanted to keep the spell tag, especially for needing them when we get knocked out. All right, let's go for this. See what we get here. There's the Galgi. There's a counter stadium, which is really good. It's actually a pretty good hand. We got the horror house energy, which is also like the best thing we could have gotten. All right, let's treasure away the Garboder. Get a Jirachi, I think. Could also get Mew, but I think we're fine. We'll put this, put the Shine down. We'll Poisonous Puddle them. We're going to go for that Poison Cultivation. Now, I don't know if Horror Energy actually works when they hit and switch here. If it does, that's really good, because then we can knock this out with maybe Spell Tag, Residual Damage. We'll see. I wish we didn't have to discard that other Spell Tag, though, not going to lie. Would have liked to have kept that. They do have the zero. They get a free retreat, but I don't think it's going to do much for them. Because we did bump their only Thunder Mound here, so they don't have another Thunder Mound to work with. They could go... I guess they could switch. They could retreat into Jirachi, Stellar Wish, and do, like, a research. I mean, they could still, like, 
combo the switch back into the more Petko after the Coco and attach an energy and still attack me. That is still very possible. If Horror Energy works on this guy, that'll be really good. I also have 10 HP remaining though after Spell Tag, Horror Energy though, that's I guess an issue. We'll see what happens though. Yeah, they are going to retreat. Obviously, they have to. They play a speed energy. I mean, it's pretty likely they are going to get the attack here. It's very, very likely they will get the attack. So we'll have to see if they do get there. Unfortunately, we're going to be down three research, which I don't really like. We're actually going to be down a lot of supporters. Two Marnies? Jeez, that's not great. That's not good at all. Now, there's more Peckle VMAX. That makes things a little more tough, but that means they can't do Electro Wheel anymore, and I'd rather them attack me with this than the more Peko because then we can't poison it at least we can just go back and poison this guy and they probably will attack me here we don't I don't think we really need Mew 20 damage to the bench is not a lot of damage so we don't really need the Mew at least right now anyways unless they play like Zigzagoon or something they can knock out Ditto and then I don't have another to Grouchy to follow up with that could be a problem I don't think they play Zigzagoon though we'll see if they Marnie me here too that could be something we could consider them doing Ooh, boss's order that's not good if they have a switch in their hand they can knock out my Garboder here, which is not ideal. That's like the only way they can counter us is by knocking out Garboder. So we need to get another Trubbish down. And we need to get the Ornate Rod to get back that other Garboder. So do they have a switch in there? They have a switch. This is going to be really bad. They can knock me out. And then we can't poison them again, which is not good. So let's just hope they don't have the Gar Okay, they're going to boss order. They're going to bring in the Garboder anyways. Did they get the switch? They do not. Alright, so we need to find our own switch here, too, to move. Evo. Okay, that's good. We can get the other Dragelge out of the deck. Probably should check to see, actually, if I had those two switches. Alright, research for switch. Okay, we actually got it. Wow. That's amazing. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And hopefully they don't have another boss order to knock me out again. That would be pretty bad. And I don't mind this. We get rid of their Jirachi. They have two cards in their hand, so they might not even have a supporter. Alright, what do we get out the prizes here? Another Skrelp. That's good. We can bench that. Or we can bench another Trubbish. Depends on what happens. But we're chilling. They need a Memory Energy to make use out of Electro Wheel here, but they don't have any dolls or anything to go into. So for now, we're fine. Unless they have another boss order, which they do not. Which is good. They might be able to get a boss order back, though. That's the only problem. Alright, looks like it's just a Lightning Box deck. I guess, I guess this lightning box. I don't, I don't see any like signs of any walls or anything that more Peko Electro Wheel would go into. Is that a recycle energy? I think that is. Both ones easy to take out because it gets knocked out in the turn going back in our turn because of the ten damage through poison cultivation. Oh, they do play memory energy. Well, it's gone now, and that's good to see. Actually, they probably could have attached that, knocked me out, so that more Peko doesn't get poisoned here. But there's a the max discharge. Will knock us out, which is fine. We got some extra damage to put on board. They have 180 HP left, so we could probably just put 4 damage on the Mew. We can target Mew and knock it out at some point for an extra prize. Because we knocked this out. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll bring in the Jirachi. Alright, we do a treasure. We are going to have to discard quite a few Pokemon here. I actually don't think I want anything, because we still I, still, I still want to bench a Trubbish here. Alright, hopefully we get a switch and an energy. There we go. We also got the Trubbish and the Ordinary Rod, which is pretty good. So let's place, I'm going to, um, I don't even know what I want to get rid of here, though. I guess we can get rid of a Skrelp. Let's make sure we have the Trubbish in play. We did lose a lot of Pokemon there, which I don't like. Get back our boater. We'll get back Nihiligo too, I think. Wish we can get back more Pokemon though. Stellar Wish. We'll take the Marnie. I guess we should have done Stellar Wish before we did the Ornay Rod, just in case we didn't get a supporter. It's fine though. Poison cultivation. Let's see where this goes. They can retreat, but I actually, unless they have an energy switch, they probably can't attack me with anything here. Or no, they can attack with Bolton. Never mind. Bolton can attack me. How much HP do they have? 80? Hmm. We need to figure out how to take out this Marpeco VMAX. 
I wish we didn't have to lose as many scrubs there, not gonna lie. We'll see what we can do, though. We will see. Right, the worst thing that could happen is we run out of attackers, which could happen. I'm kind of scared that might actually happen. Because that research we had to do there, we lost so many Pokemon, which was not good. So they do knock me out, and unless I have a Tool Scrapper, uh, this Mew's going to get knocked out by the Spell Tag, which I want to do. The Zero Aura is making things a little complicated, though, not going to lie. They can go back into the Morpeko, though, but the Morpeko gets knocked out by Poison. So I guess our Wing Edition is sort of on board here. Alright, where else do we want to put this damage? We can put it on... One and one? I don't really know. I, I don't know where to put that extra damage. We don't really have any good places to put it. We can knock out their Mew, though. Take a prize. Quick Ball. That's good. We can get another uh, Scrub down. We are out of Spell Tags, though. I don't think that matters too much. So let's go put you down. We'll Quick Ball. Weigh the Quick Ball for Scrub. Oh, we don't have a Skrelp. Never mind. All right, we're going to get Nyla Higo. A little early to play that, unfortunately, but didn't have any Skrelps to work with. Hmm. Stellar Wish. I think just take Treasure. I think we just attack with Mew next turn. I think that's going to have to be the play. I don't know. I don't know if we can win this, guys. We just... We can't get enough Pokemon in play to keep up. We just... I feel like that one research turn is what kind of hurt us here. We just had to lose way too many Pokemon. Oh, they play Pika Rom. So this is a very big Lightning Box deck. I don't think we have to worry about Tag Bolt anytime soon, though, thankfully. This still is not a good spot to be in, not gonna lie. This is still not an ideal spot to be in. I really wish we didn't have to bench that Trubbish. Because we had to ordinary right back Garboder, and I really would have liked to just get back an attacker. We're just going to have to attack with Mew and hope for the best. And we have to hit an ordinary rod of our own. We only have nine cards left, though. Four more prizes left to take, so we'll see what happens. 80 HP. 80 HP. Hmm. Yeah, this might be a tough one to win, guys. How many horror host energies do we have left? Still have one left. The Zero Aura, not gonna lie, I think the Zero Aura is what's really causing us the game here because it's able to just use it's that ability is really bad for us. Maybe this deck should just play Power Plant so that they can't use Zero Aura's ability. To be honest with you, I think we might have to put Power Plant because then they can't just use Zero Aura's ability to retreat. So I think this deck may just take the L to any deck that plays Zero Aura then, to be honest with you. Out of all the decks you might run into, Zero Aura might be the hardest, or any deck with Zero Aura for that matter. Just because that free retreat cost is what's kind of kind of stopping us right now. Best case, they do... Electrify... You, what? I was about to say the best thing that could happen is we don't get knocked out and they just... They do Electrify. Oh my gosh. Our window of winning has just opened up. I don't think we have boss's order anymore though, unfortunately. Do we? We do. Hmm. I really don't know why my opponent did that. Hmm. Okay. We're still in the game. Oh, boss order. It is prized. Yikes. Hmm. Okay. This thing's stuck. He might not have an energy left. He has played quite a few energies already. He's played three, six. Yeah, he's played like over like 10 energy. He might not even have a light energy left in his deck to move this more Petko. I don't know why he did Electrify there. He just knocked me out. Oh, he has an energy. Okay. He has to have, like, double E-switch. I still don't think he's going to tag bolt me here. And even if he does, we're not out of the game. Alright, we just... what? I don't know why this guy... That was... That was weird. 
Yep, there's boss order. Dang it, it was a lost prize, but we still won the game. I did not honestly think we had a chance of winning that, in all honesty. Like, it wasn't looking good for us, but my opponent just threw the game. I don't know why they did that. They just were like, okay, let's just stay in the active. They didn't retreat the Marpeko for some reason. They didn't retreat the Boltund. They didn't even take a knockout with both and I don't know why they did that, bro. They threw the game, but we'll take a dub any day of the week. I think definitely for sure Pika Rom is one of your worst matchups. You probably you'd have to play Power Plant to counter that Zero Aura. It's just too hard. So let's get another game with the uh, Drake Algae Garboder deck here. We're playing against it looks like a possible Egg Row deck. Not sure how I feel about that because cards like Life Forest and Calming Hurricane are a little disruptive. We do win the coin flip. I think we're gonna go first. If we're playing against Eggrow, I don't know how I feel about this matchup, to be fair. I think Eggrow and ADP even might be our worst matchups. Pika, we can win. It's just that Zero Aura is a pest. Um, but I think we do want to go first because we are playing that Stage 1 deck. But there is a chance they are playing that Eggrow. We might have just gave them a free Turn 1 Eggrow here. Uh, but at least we got, a, we got a good setup. We got the Turn 1 Trubbish and the Scrap. And I think I'm actually not going to go for Drotch. I think I was going to straight up just get the Scrap. Or get the get the Trubbish here to try to Garboder then. Ooh, they're playing Sableye Flapple. Okay. That's fine. I think we can we can definitely try to beat this. Yeah, we can try to beat this. Uh, I'm going to put that down now just so that we have it in play for Stadium. Because they could Marnie us. Then we could lose our shrine. I don't think they can like KO us in one hit here, obviously. Yeah, I don't think they can KO us in this turn. One thing they could do is obviously use Flapple to heal out of poison or something crazy like that. But the nice thing is because these things only have 40 HP and a lot of the time they will have a residual one sitting on their bench, what we could do is we could possibly um, use spell tag to knock out their own Flapples. Uh, there's Garboder. Unfortunately, we didn't get a supporter that we can use. We could boss's order the Sableye and poison it, which I think I am obviously going to do here. And hopefully we can draw something. I guess we, or we, what we could do is knock out the Jirachi and tr quick ball for a Jirachi. That might also be a good idea. But we poison Sableye. We also just knock out their attacker. So, and they are, they are down one switch. Unless we can draw research here. Another Trubbish. Okay. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to get the Dragalge. We're going to Quick Ball away Trubbish. We're going to get Jirachi. We could also retreat into Jirachi, but I think what we are going to do, we're just going to knock out the say We could actually hit the Applin because they can't... Unless they play Zigzagoon, there's no way they're going to knock out my Dragalge. I think we just want to poison the Sableye, though. Force them to have to have a switch escape board or something like that. I think this is going to be the correct play. They will knock me out if they get a single Flapple. All right. A little shuffle for good luck. We're not going to be able to respond with another attack either, unfortunately, because we don't have another scrub down. But that's fine. They'll get knocked out by poison. They have to move the Sableye if they don't want to get knocked out by poison. But now the Sableye will get knocked out by poison no matter what anyways. I wish we had a Horror House and a Spell Tag on. But that's fine. There's a doll. Will they have a switch in their hand? I'm a little worried that they might. If they had enough uh, apples in play, too, from last turn, they could have knocked out my Jirachi instead, and then I could have been stuck, possibly, with an empty hand. Yeah, there's the energy. There's an escape board on the Sableye. So they can retreat into the doll to get out of the poison, so that works, too. Oh, they're going to Jirachi? Do they have a switch or a scoop-up net? So they don't, they can't move the Jirachi. Worst case scenario, they get more apples down, and then they can knock out my Scralps too. Now they have the scoop up net rip. We only have 6 HP, so if they get a bunch of apples here, that's going to be really annoying too. Really wish we had a spell tag on, not going to lie. I really wish we had a spell tag here. They get rid of the Veltal and the Mimikyu. Two cards I don't really care for. There's one apple. Please don't have two. I wish, really wish we had a spell tag, man, so we could knock out that apple. That would have been so good. But they are going to get another Flapple. Or Applin. If they have... Oh, they actually get a Zacian. Maybe they'll do Intrepid Sword? Are they going to just Intrepid Sword here? I'm fine with that, actually. That buys us another turn. Ooh, yes. Yeah, so they are going to take a Jirachi. So it looks like they are just going to do Intrepid Sword. Which is fine by me. That gives me one extra turn. I actually think we do just retreat in Jirachi here. We don't really need to take out the doll, obviously. Yeah, we definitely just retreat in Jirachi. 
We can even poison the doll just for the memes. All right, come on, give me a Marnie or a research here. Hey, we got. I'll take the re. We could have Marnie them. I guess her hand is big. I'm just gonna go research. Wanna dig? We wanna dig. We wanna dig. We wanna dig. Dig, dig, dig. There we go. We got two boys. Unfortunately, we didn't get a. Uh, we didn't get another draw supporter, which is a little unfortunate. But we can still knock out their save lives. I'm not even too worried about that. It's gonna pass. We'll let him knock out the Jirachi. I'm fine with this. We have a switch and board in our hand, so we can find another Jirachi off the top deck. We can switch out. We not having a supporter is not great, but we should still get a prize this turn. So I'm feeling pretty good about our spot, regardless. And I'm fine with being in top deck mode. I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to risk it. They're probably going to win the stadium more, so there's no point. All right, there's another. There's a flat pull. Good thing they didn't get many more apples down. I still want to get a spell tag on my uh, Dracology. That's how we can win this game, is using spell tag against these little applins. I don't think they have any way to protect those applins from getting knocked out either. I saw some people um, playing dolls in their Sableye Apple list too, which I, I think is good because it can obviously buy you a turn to build up your Sableye. I didn't think of that, not going to lie. I did not think of putting those in the deck. Um, all right. I think I mentioned that ditto. Really wish you had that spell thing. They don't, the good thing is they actually don't have any more room for any attackers right now until they move this doll, which is good. Let's see where they put this 20 damage. Most likely on the Dragalgy. No, they're going to hit Jirachi again. Oh, they could knock out Jirachi here through like a Zigzagoon combo maybe, but they would need so much to do that. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Oh, there's the Zigzagoon. They could just knock out Jirachi that way. They need two scoop up nets though, which... Bruh, they might actually have it. Wow. That's fine. We can still go into this. We can still go into Dragalgy if it's not the end of the world. And Dragalgy probably won't get knocked out either. Wish the doll was getting knocked out by poison going back in our turn. Do they have another scoop up net? Yo, scoop up net research? Okay, good. That would have been pretty nuts. They are down two nets now, so hopefully they don't find another one to knock out my Jirachi here. Hey, we got another Stellar Witch. Alright, this is good. We're obviously going to be looking for a Marnie here. Ornate Rod. Don't need that right now. All right, here we go, Stellar Wish. No Marnie. Big sad. We do get the spell tag, which is really good. Do we want to go into Dragalgy here? I want to say no. Because I don't want Drachi and Dragalgy to get knocked out in one turn. But uh, they just knock out the Drachi through the apple anyways. So I think we do go Dragalgy. Uh, how do we whiff a supporter off that? That's not not great. Not gonna lie. That's not great. And if they knock me out, we can probably knock out hopefully an apple on their bench. We'll see. I might have to put the forty damage on Zacian so that because if I put the forty damage on a Jirachi or a Zigzagoon, it'll just get scoop up netted so we probably need to put the damage somewhere else probably on the zation i guess we can stack damage on this but we don't even have boss order anymore so probably not i guess we could still hit the sable eye regardless i don't really know where to put this damage not gonna lie really sucks we don't have a supporter right now bro that's the only thing that's killing me is not having a supporter if they not go both jachi and the drug algae here we're gonna be in a lot of trouble there's a marnie please give me that marnie i would love to get another hand I would love to get another hand here, but I doubt they're going to do it. There's the Applin. All right, so there's a free prize, assuming Dragalgy gets knocked out here. Unless they play Fionn. Would they target the other Dragalgy? Are they going to bosses order it? They can bosses order Scoob and then knock out the two on the bench here, I guess, if that's what they're going to do. They could also have knocked out Garboder, which stops my whole strategy altogether. I think they are trying to avoid the spell tag, which is smart, obviously. They might play Tool Scrapper, too. That's something we got to watch out for. Best case scenario, they don't knock out Jirachi. Oh, they're going to Marnie me. All right, this should put us back in the game, hopefully. <laughs> Where are my supporters? What? Okay, well, we got a Jirachi, which is good. We have an energy for the other Dragology, which is also good. Yep, there's the net. That's going to get them a knockout. They might not move the Jirachi, though, either. They are down three nets now, and they've already played a switch. I don't know how many they played all together. 
I don't know where my supporters are, though. That's kind of giving me an anxiety attack. Yo, give me a supporter top deck. All right, there's the other... Oh, they're going to put the Zigzagoon back. Um, no, but they're getting another Apple down. And it's going to Trepid Sword. All right, they're playing it safe. What do we draw? Skateboard. Supporters, where are you at? Um, let's put the Horror here. Let's Poisonous Puddle them. And triple apple knocks out Jirachi, so I don't really want to bench it. Yeah, I don't really want to bench the Jirachi. It's not good. It'll get knocked out, most likely. So I think we just go for the poison cultivation knockout. I mean, I got to assume we prize the supporter, so we got to get one here because I haven't seen a single supporter yet other than that research. No, we got a spell tag. That's actually a good card to get, though, for sure. I really hope they don't play any tool scrapper. I really hope they're out of scuba nets, which is good, but I hope they don't have tool scrapper because they had the tool scrapper. We just those spell tags. They're too important. They're the spell tags are really important here to knock out these applins. Let's see. What are they doing? Okay. They got the double. They got the triple flapple, which is kind of scary. Oh, they got the quad applins. It's a good thing they can't knock out many Mindrick Algies right now with Flapple. That's one thing they could try to do is Apple drop around my own spell tags. That could be kind of bad. We also need to get more Sculpts in play. Oh, boss, what are they going to get the Garboder? No! They saw the play coming. That's not good. This is really bad, dude. Oh, why can't we find a supporter, bro? This is killing me. They're going to knock out Garboder and the app. Well, actually, they can't knock out Garboder. Because Zigzagoon doesn't put enough damage on it. Oh, man. Yeah, they can't They can't knock out Garboder anyways, which is fine. How many switches have we played? Only one. Okay, mm, I don't know what I want to do. They're going to get Boss Order back. Oh, they're going to get Marnie. Okay, I'm glad it's not a Boss Order. They can't net that Mewtwo anymore either, which is also good. Good thing we have the energy in the skateboard, not gonna lie. Unless we get reset stamped, which I don't think they play. Yeah, they dumped the Zigzagoon. That's good. Get that ditto. Hopefully they don't get any more apples down. Alright, do they have another apple? Doesn't look like they do. We're down too trubbish. We need to get the ordinary rod now. Alright, there's just an intrepid sword. Can we draw something good, like a supporter that we haven't played yet? There we go. We finally got a supporter. Took me about 80 turns. Okay, research. We also get rid of an apple, which is good. There's a ditto. We can bench that, I think, because that will, of course, turn into another Garboder. In fact, we should probably play this, too. We'll do both. Why not? Get back Trubbish. And Drake Algae. energies yeah we already are yes we definitely need to do that we could bench mew i eh, don't really need to we're just gonna go for the poisonous puddle here and the good thing they didn't put back the um it's a good th maybe we should bench the mew no that's just i don't want to have bench anything too low hp like we should bench it because they are gonna marnia so it's not gonna matter though it's good we're getting rid of an apple what's our prize another energy is good okay we're chilling yeah really good thing they didn't get back back that you back the boss's order cannot talk right now they got back that boss order. They could have just knocked out the Garboder this turn, most likely, which would have been bad. But we got the Ditto down. We have a Garboder in our hand. They're going to Marnie us, though. But I think we still have an evil Incense. Yeah, we should be fine. And we should find a supporter off of, our, off of that Marnie, hopefully. Just the supporters weren't coming to our hands today. And as long as they have an Applin on their bench and they knock out my Dragology, that spell tag is going to activate. It probably would have been best for them to get the boss's order back. But again, they're out of nets too, so they might not even be able to recover the mute too. And they're gonna run out of searching Pokemon things eventually. They're already out of quick balls. And if we can bump this turf field, they might struggle to find another turf field. Okay, ordinary rod. Get them back. A couple more apple things. I really wish we stored our boss order to knock out that Sableye. Not gonna lie, I really wish we did. We need to have our spell tags activated too in order to win this. Like, they need to knock out a Dragology eventually. They're probably gonna hit the Ditto. Yep, that's fine. They can't knock out Ditto unless they have... 
some crazy combo, which I don't think they do have anymore. So yeah, if they had any more nets, it would have been a goner. But we get to evolve into Garbodor and Raguchi. Attached to Applin, so we won't actually. We can knock out the Mewtwo, right? It's got 120 HP. It's not gonna matter though. They get knocked out going back to our turn, which is even better for us. The only thing that might get in the way is Doll Spam too. That's pretty bad for us. Yeah, they're getting all their apples down. They need to attack with Sableye, but they they know they can't. But I really want them to. <laughs> I really want them to attack with Sableye here. Oh man, this is just a weird game. There's a Marnie. That's pretty good. We can actually play that here. Uh, I'm going to put an energy on a Garbodor. I know it's weird, but the reason I'm doing this is because I do want to be able to retreat it, but we got to switch anyways. All right, well, we're just going to Poison Cultivation them, and if they don't have a switch here, they're going to get knocked out going into our turn, which means we will be able to get another prize unless they go Flapple and bench another doll, which is nice. This is going to be an interesting match. This is a long game. This is going to be a really interesting game for sure. Honestly, it's anyone's game at this point. My opponent can still win the game if they keep chaining these flapples. I really wish we had another stadium. We do have a Dust Island still, but I wish we had another stadium on top of that. I wish we had four stadiums so that we could run them out of turf fields. We need to get another Skrelp down soon, too. Alright, they're going to start hitting Jirachi again. That's fine. If we had Scoop Up now, we wouldn't have to worry about that. They don't have Mew anymore, which is good. They can attack with Mew, maybe, and take mobile prizes that way, too. There's the doll, unfortunately. If they have a switch to go with that, that is going to suck, but they don't. So we get to take the Mewtwo out. They are going to let the doll go down. That's fine, though. What's our prize? Spell take number three. Do we want to Marnie them again? I don't think the Marnie really matters at this point. How many do we even have left? We still have two. I really wish we had an Eldegoss though, just to knock out that Sableye. I don't think I want to Marnie them just yet. I just, I just don't think it's going to matter. I guess we can. Yeah, I guess the Marnie's fine. I'm going to get a Skrelp here. Try to get the triple Drick Algae set up. Should put energy on it. Whatever. Whatever. Ooh, Absol. Is that really needed anymore? I don't think it is. I don't think the Absol's really needed anymore. Yo, and before they play Rosa, we probably should have played it safe. Yo, if they play a Rosa, that, that's going to be hilarious. I think it's Rosa. Hopefully they don't have any more dolls left. They have four dolls. Going through all those dolls might be kind of tough to do. Not going to lie. Wish we had more HP on our side too. I really wish we just had a way to bring that Sableye in the active and knock it out. Because our wing edition, we still have a long way to go to win. We still have to get three Pokemon here. Which is a little hard. Especially if they have multiple switches in the deck. If they discard another turf field at some point, that could be really big for us so that we can counter their stadium. Okay, they're gonna Marnie us back. We Marnie them into the two apples too. Okay, we got Dragalge. Not much else though. I mean I kind of expected. We have already played a good amount of supporters. I really want them attacking with Sableye though. That's all I want. I want them to attack with Sableye. I know they're not going to because they know what's going to happen if they do because the spell tag's going to activate. We knock out an apple. We're going to win the game. But I really want them to do it. But I know they're not going to. They can loop these apples forever, which is scary. They can retreat the Sableye too. Maybe we should have benched Absol instead of the Skrelp so that the, the, the Sableye can't retreat. That might have been actually a good idea. That might have been a good idea. So if they have another Zigzagoon, they can kill the Jirachi. We still have a reset stamp. Stamp could be huge too at some point. And they only have one other Apple in play. Hopefully they don't get another one down. So much damage on board. I wish we had a spread attack we can copy with like Nightcap or something too. That could be huge, but... Nothing in play that can do that. Oh, they concede. The Dragalge deck comes out on top against the Sable Apple deck. That was a really weird game. My opponent was playing pretty well, though, knowing very well that attacking my Dragalge was just a death trap because of the fact that we had the spell tags on. I think that'll have the video guys on the Dragalge Garboder deck. Um, I thought it played fine. I do think maybe this deck can play a couple great balls or maybe even um, 
I don't know, more stadiums. I, I don't know. Uh, other than that, I think this deck played well for us, and I do like it quite a bit. It's fun to play for sure. It might have its bad matchups against Zero Aura. It's kind of scary, so maybe we should play Power Plant in here. Other than that, uh, the Dragon deck pretty fun to play, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. If you did enjoy today's piece of video, guys, drop a like on it, and make sure to subscribe down below if you have not subbed already to help me on the road to reaching 9,000 subscribers, or... 8,300 subs, and uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter down below too. Make sure to check out our sponsor, Carham and TCG, also, guys, in the description. Use CarlDF if you get any codes over there. Support the channel, and that'll be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed your Galgi Garboder action. I'll see you guys tomorrow.